Sony has announced its latest flagship smartphone Xperia 1.7, pronounced Mark 7. The highlights of the new device include a Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset paired to a vapor cooling chamber and a triple rear camera system powered by Alpha and led by an Exmor T lens with Zeiss optics. Just like previous Xperia smartphones, the new device also comes with a design that focuses on a superior sound quality, powered by Walkman. Let's take a detailed look at the Sony Xperia 1.7. Sony Xperia 1.7 Price and Availability The Sony Xperia 1.7 is priced at €1,499, which translates to around 1.41 rupees lakh. It is available to pre-order and will be available to buy in the UK, Europe, and more countries starting from June 4, 2025. It will arrive in moss green, orchid purple, and slate black colors. Sony Xperia 1.7 Specifications The Sony Xperia 1.7 features a 6.5-inch 10-bit Full HD Plus LTPO OLED display with support for 1 to 120Hz refresh rate, 240Hz motion blue reduction, 240Hz touch sampling rate, and 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio. The HDR screen features creator mode powered by CineAlta, 100% DCI, P3 color gamut, Illuminant D65 white point, and Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection. The device sports two illuminant sensors, one on the front and one on the back, helping with precise brightness ADJ the flagship phone draws power from a 3 nanometers Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, paired with Adreno 830 GPU, 12GB LPDDR5X RAM, and 256GB UFS 4.0 internal storage expandable up to 2 terabytes via micro sd card it ships with android 14 with support for 4 os updates and 6 years of security updates the triple rear camera setup on the xperia 17 features the same main shooter as before which is a 24 mm f 1.9 wide angle camera with a 1/1.35 inch xmer t sensor ois and pdf the telephoto has an 85mm to 170mm f 2.3f 3.5 lens with a 1-3.5 inch Exmer RS imager. It allows a 4cm minimum focusing distance at 120m. The ultrawide sensor is also the same 16mm lens, but it now features a brighter f 2.0 aperture, instead of f 2.2 and a 1-1.56-inch Exmer RS sensor, which is supposed to be 2.1x larger than the previous one. The AI-powered Alpha system claims to make pictures better than before with real-time IAF tuned for both humans and animals, and a bunch of features, such as Ultra HDR, AI Main Subject Recognition, AI White Balance, AI Exposure, and AI Depth. The device sports a physical two-stage camera button, which is now slightly wider than before. On the front, the Xperia 1.7 features a 1-2.9 Xmer RS mobile in the sound department, the front-facing full-stage stereo speakers claim to have 10% richer bass and mid-bass, tuned in collaboration with Sony Music Entertainment. The phone sports a 3.5mm audio jack, 360 reality audio, 360 reality audio hardware decoding, 360 spatial sound, Dolby Atmos, DS Ultimate, stereo recording, and Qualcomm Aptex HD audio. The Sony Xperia 1.7 is backed by a 5000 mAh battery with support for 30W fast charging. It supports Xperia adaptive charging, battery care, stamina mode, Qi wireless charging, and battery share function. It is IP65 and IP68 rated for dust and water resistance. Weighing 192 grams, the device sports a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, D-Sensor, Xperia flagship phones after the big restart from 2019 when Sony decided to consolidate its lineup, which means we're going to talk about the Sony Xperia 1.7. Some interesting tweaks without compromising its Sony heritage. There are no major surprises, though, so read on to find what's changed and what stayed the same. Here are the most important new features and changes Sony made to the Xperia 1.7 in comparison to the previous model. The phones comes with the fastest Snapdragon processor, a new 48MP ultrawide camera, and some software AI magic in the photography department. 
Most of the specs are very similar or outright identical to the specs sheet of the predecessor, though. Sony decided to bump the price of the Xperia 1.7 once again. The phone starts at Euro 1499 slash pound 1399 for the 256GB version. The phone is currently available in selected European markets. Sony has upgraded the ultra-wide camera on the Xperia 1.7. The new 48MP 1 slash 1.56 sensor is approximately 2.1 times larger than the one on the previous model, promising better night shots, more details, and lower noise levels. The other two cameras have been carried over from the Xperia 1.6. Sony is offering a single 256GB variant of the Xperia 1.7, at least at the moment. This shouldn't be a deal breaker as the phone still sports a micro SD card slot, and you can use cards with up to 2TB of capacity to expand the Onboa. There are no substantial changes to the Xperia 1.7 design. The phone looks almost identical to its predecessor. There are subtle differences, such as the position of the LED flash in the camera bump and the design of the camera rings inside. RD storage. The same buttons and ports are present. You have the 3.5mm headphone jack, a side-mounted capacitive fingerprint scanner, a micro SD card slot, and a double-action camera shutter button. I in terms of colors, the phone comes in three different hues, just like its predecessor, and they are somewhat similar, but there's one color that stands out. Even though there were rumors that Sony will bring back the 4K display on the Xperia 1.7, it turned out we're getting the same 1080x2340 pixels. FHD plus screen with a resulting pixel density of around 394 ppi. It has the same 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio as the Mark 6, and can do 1 to 120 Hz display Reno changes have been made to the battery capacity. The Xperia 1.7 sports the same 5000 mAh cell as its predecessor. Thanks to the lower resolution screen and the efficient chipset, the previous generation had a very good battery life, and the same goes for the Xperia 1.7. In terms of charging, again there are no changes, the Xperia 1.7 supports 30W wireless charging, and also have wireless charging coils on the back the Xperia 1.7 launched with Android 15 out of the box and it's a pretty clean and stock version of the operating system. There are new features on board, such as the AI camera work tool that helps to create pro-level stable and framed videos, keeping the subject fixed in the center of the composition, or the auto-framing feature that tracks the subject and frames it in the center. Sony also included some of the Walkman DNA in the Xperia 1.7s sound system, enhancing the sound quality when using wired headphones. In terms of software updates, Sony now offers 4 years of major OS updates, up from 3 on the previous model, and 6 years of security patches. Fresh rat in terms of hardware specs, the Xperia 1.7 offers on surprises. The phone relies on the latest silicon from Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 8 Elite, packs 12GB of RAM, and comes in just a single memory configuration with 256GB onboard storage. There's an updated ultra-wide camera sensor. The Xperia 1.7 now features a 48MP ultra-wide camera with a bigger 1-slash-1.56 sensor underneath, but the other two cameras have been carried over from the previous generation. The battery and charging situation is the same. The Xperia 1.7 comes with a 5000 mAh battery and supports 30W wired and 15W wireless char Sony Xperia 1.7 if you're a dedicated Sony fan and you want to stand out in the normal Samsung and Apple crowd. If you also value continuous optical zoom, the Xperia flagship phones are your only option. If you're coming from a much older device, let's say the Xperia 1.3 or Xperia 1.4, upgrading to the Xperia 1.7 is a huge step up, especially if you want to stay loyal to Sony. You should not buy the Sony.